Uh, I had a hobby too. Mine happened to be guns and ballistics. And I studied guns and ballistics as much as I could and I wrote an article it was about high velocity. So out of all my years working at Weatherby, the last five have been some of the most exciting. Working with Adam, with him running the company. And to think that I get the opportunity of carrying on my grandfather's legacy 75 years later here in Sheridan, Wyoming, I mean, it really is a dream come true. On Our Mark, the Weatherby Podcast. Cool. Welcome back to On Our Mark, the Weatherby Podcast. We are joined again by Remy Warren, Tyler Grethen, and Adam Weatherby, and we're talking about Live Wild, Remy Warren, and a new gun that we've been working on with I'm Remy. Very excited. Yeah. This one's going to be fun as well. Yeah. New, uh, new gun here, huh? If for some crazy reason you don't know who Remy is, go back and listen to episode 79, part one, question mark, <laughs> <laughs> on our podcast. And uh, great background. I had no idea that you were self-filming hunts before you ever had any outlet for the content, just banking three seasons worth of Solo Hunter just, oh, yeah. just for a rainy day. Yep. Yeah, you, just never, you never know when you got to pull out some <laughs> good self-filmed hunting <laughs> <Yeah>. action. <laughs> you know, one of the things I thought of since that podcast is we talked about what you're doing a long time ago. Are you doing anything now? Yeah, you know, it's <laughs> funny It's funny how things change, right? Like, I, I kind of have been the type of person that I really want to do, like, I got to focus on something and I want right. to do that really good. Right. And for a long time, it was the TV stuff. And then I think it kind of... Sh- transitioned from television and focus into that into building essentially my own audience through social media and and other things um and and being able to share essentially the same stuff but share it to a broader audience in kind of in my own way right um you know and so that's branched out from like instagram youtube uh through our email platform which is, is has been awesome to be able to just connect with people that way um, through different outlets on our website and then with a lot of the partners that I work with um, in the hunting industry to kind of still get that content out there, share these hunts, share these hunting stories, um, you know, magazine articles and blog posts and all that other stuff. But it's more a little bit spread out, but also a little easier to find as well because it's all underneath my own name, brand, Live Wild. Um, all essentially you can find it online. And then course my podcast live wild podcast with remy warren if you haven't listened to it, it's tips and tactics and all that other good stuff um and just being able to share that and and really just connect with people over the thing that i love sharing hunting yeah you've really been able to build a platform that no matter how you consume the content because everyone has their preferences like i'm a podcast guy i like to listen to people's podcasts when i'm driving but not everyone listens to podcasts so you have kind of diversified your brand to where you do really good films you do really good social content and then now you have like the podcast. So yeah, anyone can consume it. So that's a pretty sweet model that you have going there. Yeah. It's been awesome. And and the other thing is like, you know, the podcast is really focused on, uh, teaching really like, you know, giving people tips and tactics and, and helping people be more successful. And then, you know, on the other side, on the film stuff, it's more just, it, there's a lot of people like people always be like, Oh, I learned so much from that video, but not even the intention is that it's just that like, you get to pick up the way that I I do things. But a lot of that's more like entertainment aspect of like here, you get to watch the hunt, you get to see it unfold. And then through social media, seeing that kind of like the, the, the photos and like other things that go along with that, the after the hunt, the cooking and all that stuff. So we try to just, you know, incorporate the entire hunt in, like you said, various ways. So you might hear of a story on the podcast and then get to see the film and then see some photos and, and just being able to share, those trips and those adventures and the things that, that we love to do. Yeah. That's cool. So we've been working on this rifle yeah. and, uh, actually I'm going sk- to fast forward to the end a little bit, leave the rifle in a little bit of suspense because, uh, we just got back from our shooting range where you got to shoot this thing for the first time. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say that put on probably one of the best displays of shooting that <laughs> I've seen out there actually. Yeah. Oh. 
Thank you. Uh, Remy, good, Remy it Warren, was all the gun. <laughs> Remy Warren can shoot a rifle. <laughs> yes, we proved it today. We, we, we took this rifle out there literally after assembling it in the factory. It was still warm. It was hot off the press. Like, Coming out of the Cerakote oven. Literally <laughs> hot. Yeah. Remy helped put together kind of the, the final pieces, literally, of the rifle out in the shop, and we headed out um, to our range here, out to 1,000 yards, and it just started gusting. Um, which is weird. It's Wyoming. It never does that here. <laughs> but we went out there and just, yeah, shot phenomenal um, all the way out to 1,000 yards. So yeah. Less than, was it 10 rounds? What 10 rounds, it? yeah. 10 uh, rounds to get to 1,000 yards, and yep. it was windy. It was windy. And uh, It was windy and yeah. not windy. <laughs> <It's> like <those laughs> yeah. Which is okay. worse than just it's being worse. windy. Yeah, it's like <laughs> shooting in the wind is one thing. Shooting in no wind is the best thing. Shooting in no wind and wind yeah. simultaneously variable is the worst wind. thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's tough. Gusty and variable. Yeah, but yeah, fantastic. I mean, we walked it out to 1,000 yards and essentially kill shots the whole way out, which was... Yeah, it doesn't get any better than that. I mean, this is not even like out of the box. This is before it even goes in the box. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> this gun has never been in a box. It's never been that, in a box. No, like it never literally, is the, the first pieces one. are hot. We're assembling. <laughs> That's the, right. The bolt, yeah, and then yeah. we just go the scope on, sight in. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, we once we got our, you know, we just built out our chart, and here she goes. I mean. It doesn't get any better than that. Like, that's a lot of confidence, you know, and you're like... A lot, a lot. You know, a lot of people shoot a gun and they're like, oh, yeah, I don't know. you know, it takes a long time to, to get confidence in it or whatever. But you know, just out of the box, like, pre-box. Off the factory <laughs> yeah, off line. Off the factory line. You're just Straight like, grab the, the gun, floor. <laughs> shoot it. And like, this one, just, it's like, man, I would take this hunting tomorrow and feel confident out to those... Yeah. whatever range we needed you know that the, i mean the 900 you poke the middle of the bullseye out first shot that was a 10 yeah. ring for sure yeah that yeah was a good one. <laughs> that, was, that was unbelievable that was a 10 <laughs> ring awesome. yeah it yeah. was cool so yeah no well done out there today and i've seen him shoot a couple times now and he definitely he's no slouch no he's no slouch that's no. good yeah yeah it's awesome and and even shooting left-handed shotguns no slouch. yeah it took me like <laughs> a good seven eight nine rounds to figure it out but once i i like to shoot with both eyes open with rifles shotguns everything mm-hmm. and that like i, I was definitely <laughs> off <laughs> with the very strong eye. right you eye cannot, dominance i have very strong right eye dominance i like, am too squinting and looking is yeah. just a weird like i don't like closing one eye but uh yeah once we figured that out we started doing all right yeah tyler tell us about this thing so this is the live wild edition mark five so nice. it is built on our Mark V action, same action that we've been making since 1958. Adam was about to be mad at me if I got that wrong. But yeah, uh, yeah it's a, it's a I gr- remember it was like it was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> sure you do. Uh, yeah, same action we've been making since 1958. Um, it's a great package that we put together here. It's got some really cool features, and it's going to come in at an incredible price. So my favorite thing about this this is it like out of the box you've got. A custom or tri- before or before the box yeah. yeah you got custom trigger you got the fi- fi- uh you got a really good spiral fluted barrel you're going to get a break right out of the box and it's only going to retail for 1650 so nice yeah for and a good value and it shoots and it shoots very well very well yeah, cu- yeah. custom paint jobs kind of a black gray scheme with the live wild logo on the floor plate so you know it's a i think it's got a look that fits with you, Remy, and kind of your branding. And, you know, as I'm looking at your hat and just your different branding stuff, yeah. you know, I think it's, it, it, it matches well. the hat really well. It does, yeah. It's <laughs> like they asked me my favorite colors. I'm like, black. <laughs> black <laughs> and gray. <laughs> yeah. And, and gray. Black and a lighter version of it. <laughs> well, you saw our team out there, our custom paint team. I mean, there's a lot of people out there on the floor that are that are doing that. And, I mean, so every one of these is custom hand-painted. Yeah. So. And, and they just tur- they all turned out phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think that's what's cool when we do launch a gun with a partner like Live Wild in this case is people have trusted us for 78 years to make a quality product, but there's so many things out there, and you get shooters or hunters that are like, man, what what should I take here? What should I take there? Like, I'm just getting into hunting. What I what should I use? Well, maybe they're listening to your podcast, or maybe they're – and so they've, they've grown to kind of trust you a little bit, right? Yeah. Where they go like, hey, if, if Remy is going to say, um, because you have that voice to go like, no, these are the features that I would take to go hunt with distance this weekend with this gun out of the box – 
then um, I think that's where our partnership really comes together. We, we build the product, um, but I think you've built a, a voice and a trusted voice where we can come together and kind of partner like that. Yeah. And I mean, this is like the thing I'm really excited about. This is just, it's a very feature rich firearm that shoots extremely well. And like, that was the one thing when we were, when we were working on building this out is like, we wanted to get it at a really good price point for people because it's a, yeah. it, it's, you don't really get, I mean, like a gun can only shoot so good. Right. right. Like, there's, I mean, this, I, I, I could, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not the best shot in the world, but I feel like I can shoot fairly decent and you I can probably today. never yeah. shoot as decent as this gun can shoot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I will never max it out. Like it can always be better. Like the gun can shoot better than I can. And so when you've got that combination of things, it, it's kind of a no brainer and it just, and to top it off, like it looks super cool. <laughs> yeah. And as yeah. maybe that's like, yeah. mm-hmm. for me, that's a selling point of like, you know, we spend a lot of time going over different mock-ups and, and, and different versions and different like paint styles and, and different features. And that was the cool thing of you guys, you know, working with me on this is saying like, I'd be like, can we do this? And you guys are like, we can do it. <laughs> <I'm> like, really? <laughs> cool. Yeah. Like, we this is awesome. That. Yeah, for sure. Like it just, uh, and, and because of that, not only is it an awesome gun, but it looks super cool too. <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's part of it. It's like, you've got an awesome firearm that, you know, this is, I feel like this is a gun that you, you can hunt with, you can, you can abuse, you can beat up and you could pass it down. You know, like it's just a, it's an, it's an awesome gun. And I, I don't know. I love everything about it. But being on our, our, our Mark five action, I think all of our guns are fantastic. <clears throat> I don't want to like talk negatively about any of them, but yeah. I think when people think about Weatherby, you think about the Mark five, they talk about like a heirloom or an heirloom item. <laughs> heirloom. That's heirloom. a word. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It is now. Made it up. I think that's like where you take yeah. hair and you weave something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and heirloom item. Like it, it, uh, that's what people think about. And so to get the price that low on a Mark V that, um, you can hand down for a, many generations, pretty awesome. It's very cool. Yeah. And yeah. even with that Mark V platform, I think just from it, like you, you had some history too. Your, your grandfather had one too. So yep. it's kind of cool that, like him having one and then now there's one with kind of your live wild brand on I it know. like so many years later it was that's kind of a, interesting. I, I, that's one of the things like you know uh my grandpa like really instilled a lot of the hunting and, and my dad you know I, I grew up hunting with my dad but my grandpa was like an outfitter in montana and and then it's kind of like he he took a lot of pride in the fact that like i became an outfitter and and so you know i think if he saw this unfortunately he's passed away but you know i think if he saw this it'd be a very proud moment in his life for that's sure cool. Yeah, what very cool. Do you remember what he had for Weatherby? Uh, you can remember? He had like, a 300 Weatherby yeah. Mark V. Um, it was wood. You mm-hmm. know, unfortunately, um, it was one of those things that you wish would have got passed down, but <laughs> he came on hard times and, <laughs> and had to get rid of it, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, I think that that's one of those things that, you know, he and he ended up getting another one uh, years later. To, um, what was it? No, it was another 300 Weatherby. Or no, seven. Seven millimeter Weatherby. Nice. Um and uh and my dad has that one now so um and that mark five and my da- that's what my dad primarily hunts with um so you know just to like have that and, and you know i think that that's kind of my grandpa was like hardcore weatherby mm-hmm. fanatic and i think if he saw this gun with my name on it he'd be like man <laughs> you made it <laughs> you made it he's proud he of was you. always my hero maybe i'd be his hero for the he's, day. he's he's proud of you yeah. right now that's awesome that's cool that's Very really cool. neat huh well we're uh uh a little bit in front of western hunt expo but we're planning to launch this thing just just if you're listening to this podcast there's probably still time to head over to salt lake city and check this thing out live and we'll probably yeah. have one in each of our booths at western hunt expo so. yeah yeah we'll be there we'll have them on display uh come check them out you know we're I'm really excited about it. I think we're all really proud of how it came out. And, you know, it's cool to, to be here and, and see them essentially coming off the press and yeah. everyone being, like, pretty fired up about it. It was, it was really cool to, like, grab some hot pieces of metal Literally. and, like, yeah. all right, let's put them together. And, like, yeah, I mean, every one of these is, is meticulously built. And I think that that's, like, and there's a lot of excitement and pride in, in all the weather yeah. products. But, you know, I think this is... 
this just is, is very exciting for me to be able to release this with you guys. I, I thank you guys so much for this opportunity because it does mean a lot to me and, and you guys trusting me to say like, Hey, we'd love to put your name on our fire. I'm like, what really? <laughs> like, this, is, <laughs> this is unbelievable. So it, it's a very cool experience for me. And you know, the working with you guys has just been awesome. You know, I think there wasn't anything that we were like, here's a suggestion. You guys are like, yep, we'll see what we can do. I'm like, really? <laughs> cool. Yeah, we'll try. <laughs> yeah. I think that's awesome. one of the things about our team is like um, we want to be that way where we're nimble and we can react and we can be flexible and, and do that and never get too big where all of a sudden it's, nope, this is what you get. You get vanilla or vanilla and that's all we got, you know, and and so hopefully through our partnership, there'll be more things where, you know, like as you're out in the field with this, if you have ideas like we we all do. When we go out and hunt during the season, we come back and I mean, what if I, yeah, <laughs> I truly do have field things where I'm out in the field and I go, I would have never known this in the factory. And so that field kind of feedback is super helpful. So it'll be cool to, you know, as you're hunting with this. So as I think about that, what, uh, you, you got any hunts you're gonna do with live wild coming up? Yeah. I yeah. mean, I've got, you know, I, uh, this spring I'll be headed to New Zealand. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, of, of course, I'm going to take it on the mountain, probably hunt some fallow deer, tar, chamois, maybe. Cool. Um, really looking forward to that. And then just this fall, you know, getting out, hopefully do some elk hunting. I mean, it's hard not to elk hunt. <laughs> it's like you have to. Mule deer. Um, but, yeah, I, and then you never know what you might draw either. Mm-hmm. We'll see. We're almost to that time of year it where is. stuff's going to start coming Applications. Out. Are, are you going to win another tag at Western Western Hunt? Um, I don't. I you remember that antelope hunt, but then you never got to go. Oh yeah, I didn't, get to go. I didn't get the tag, unfortunately. Um, if if I do win one, I will know that there's a certain deadline. Whether no matter what they say, that you have to buy the tag by. Yeah, it's a terrible story. I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to rehash oh, it. But yeah. you, I'm going to now. So I think we just heard it. Well, there's a so deadline, and so you, you missed you, it. You won it, and then you didn't go and yeah, like, buy the actual well, tag. Well, it wasn't on my profile thing. And so I called, and I don't know, I'm not trying to throw anyone under the bus, but I called and asked, and was like, so how do I, like, get the tag? And they're like, oh, you have until the opening day to get it. And I was like, okay, well, I never saw it. Well, there's a separate profile that you buy it on that's not your normal application uh, profile. Good to know. And I didn't know yeah. that. And I even called and asked about it. It was like, and yeah. they explained it in a way that didn't make, I'm sure I'm probably the only person so dumb. <laughs> like, <laughs> whatever, but I had an antelope tag, and I ended up, so I'm like, Finally, I'm like, okay, like it's still not here, and they're like, oh yeah, they aren't available anymore. I was like, what? what? You told me they're available until the day of the season. Oh no! Uh, so they they were confused that the the person yeah. that I had talked to didn't have yeah. all the info. But yeah, bummer. Yeah. So now I know. Now you know. Oh, I, I'm like, at least it wasn't like a sheep tag or yeah. something. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I would be. <laughs> oh my gosh! So uh, speaking of hunting, people are going to want to know probably if they're going to want to buy a hunting rifle, what calibers it's available in. Does anybody around this table know? Um, there, there's going to be um, multiple. I, yeah. I don't want to list them all. <laughs> I is. want you to go check out weatherby.com. <laughs> yeah, go check, it, check it out on the website because this is uh, this rifle in particular is one of our most expansive uh, caliber yeah. lists. Oh, we're going to have a bunch. There's a lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like more than 10? Yeah. Uh, yes. But um, – in in so. the past, actually, I was about to say uh, say this, Adam. So in the past, when we've done what, like special edition partner rifles, uh, they've had um, somewhat of a limited distribution. Mm-hmm. This one's going to be a little different. This one's going to be available to any of our customers um, to buy. So uh, there's a chance your local dealer could have one of these. So mm-hmm. can't guarantee every single one will, uh, but they would have the ability to get one. They'll be available through distribution, through independent dealers. Um, and then maybe even some bigger box retailers as well. So mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. And then on, cool. and then you could always order it and have it shipped to an FFL. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We'll be able to buy those directly on weatherby.com. So cool. Yeah. yeah. Huh. And that will have the full list of cartridges. <laughs> Mm. There will be a lot. It'll it's hard. Be, People oh, yeah. ask us. We have about 7 million models, all these yeah. cartridges, and it's just hard to remember every gun and what it comes in. Let's let's go around the table. All right. Okay. You get you choose your caliber for the Live Wild Edition rifle. Oh, man. If I go first, that's cheating. That's I'm going to do a 6.5 RPM. Damn. That's what it. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said if I go first, it's cheating. Uh, I love it. I'm going to keep it carpet. classic. Go 300 Weatherby. No! <laughs> uh, well, I should have gone first, and then I. <laughs> I know. I was like, <laughs> really? You're gonna make me go? This first? was uh, today. We shot a 300 
PRC. PRC. That was the yeah. first time I've shot a 300 PRC. Yeah. I mean, it it pretty good. I haven't hunted with it, but I'm like, hot you damn. Would. I might, <laughs> <laughs> uh, can we, uh, now that this one's been fired, right, it can't go back in the box, can it? <laughs> uh, we could probably figure something out. I think we, we were <laughs> using like a, the, our, our, weather, PRC. our Weatherby loads in the 195 hammer, and it, it shot really good. I think the first group kind of out of it was well sub MOA, like 0. 0.6, 0. 0.7, right yeah. out of the yeah. box. Really right good. right before the box. Right before the box, pre-box. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing now? It, was it even going to come in a 300 PRC, or was this just we made it up for today? You don't even know. No, it, it comes in 300 PRC. It it's going to have <laughs> some <laughs> of the new. I do know that. I, I do know. It'll have, <laughs> we'll have some 7 PRC, some some of the hotter, hotter new stuff, too, yeah. from, from other brands. So, yeah. It'll yeah. be a large selection. Yeah. So I win. can't choose one that's already been chosen? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess you yeah, could, but if could, you want to be lame, you could. We got to go. <laughs> yeah, fine. <laughs> you guys can have those slow ones. I'll take six five three hundred. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yes. Yeah, six five three hundred Weatherby. Yeah, spin circles around you guys. It's true. It's, yeah, yeah, it's fast. Oh yeah. yeah, you've you've been on a roll with the six five three hundreds. Well, the From animals were rolling, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, nice. Is that Need what you used on your sheep hunt? No, I this this year I used a six five RPM actually. I, it's hard. I, I wanted that pound lighter action. Yep. You know for it um, yeah. because that six five RPM fits in our, our smaller um, smaller one. I also took the um, the uh, Wild Sheep Foundation Thin Horn Edition Special that we made. Yeah. And um, and so that was what it was available in too. Oh, so cool. that that's kind of why I did. So we did a some limited run stuff last year. Um, of a, of a special rifle, so I actually took that, um, and uh, yeah, so it was a uh, it was kind of kind of cool. We're actually uh, we well, <laughs> actually, what's well, funny because sometimes you record podcasts, things come out, and you don't know what happens, especially me. But I think <laughs> by the time this podcast has come out, we would have auctioned uh, that rifle off. Yeah, yeah actually, we will have. at uh, the uh, the Wild Sheep Foundation um, dinner, uh, my wife and I both hunted sheep. She used a Hunted Bighorn with a Bighorn edition. Oh, cool. uh, uh, um, Wild Sheep Foundation rifle. I hunted with a Thin Horn, and uh, we made a film about it, or making a film. And uh, anyways, those two rifles we um, are going to auction. Or if you're listening they're to this, they're in the auction book. Yep. They're oh, in cool. the auction book that those two exact guns are going to be donated back to help uh, put and keep sheep on the mountain. So, awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of fun. That's so, really cool. Sorry, that was a long way around. It had <laughs> nothing to do with this rifle, except for. I do shoot the 6.5 RPM a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a great, well, a great, uh, great gun. Uh, we all said some version of it, but um, I was, when, when you were shooting earlier, 6.5, uh, or sorry, 300 PRC, right behind you was this poster that we have in the shooting center, and it's got ballistic superiority on there. And it's like, I got a really cool shot where mm -hmm. that's kind of out of focus. You're in focus, like right in the scope. And I was just out there thinking, like, you know what's different, I think, about whether it be in, what we have is a system like you can do 300 prc you can do 65 creedmoor there's nothing wrong with those cartridges but uh when you start talking about 65 300 65 rpm that's purpose built for a smaller action uh i think that's where the weatherby uh platform really starts to shine um the 54 degree bolt lift on the mark 5 with a 65 rpm like that's just my favorite it's just my favorite it's yeah. fun yeah uh, it's fun yeah ballistic superiority there you go. So, Tyler, tell them where to find this thing. Uh, you can find this at your local dealer. <laughs> so if you want to find out more information, go to weatherbeat.com. And there will be a whole tab under Mark V that says Live Wild. So it should mm -hmm. be there front and center on the Mark V tab. Are you going to have it on your website? Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. not for sale on the website. <laughs> right, yeah. right. But you'll have some information yeah, about it. Yeah. And then it so right you'll right ship it to people's door half off, no FFL required. <laughs> <laughs> is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. No, but I information about it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Cool. Awesome. That's cool. Fun. Well, Remy, we're re again, we're really glad to have you on the team and uh, look forward to this gun, and there may be some more after. Who knows? Yeah, thank you, guys.